All right, one of the awesome features of the Black Bean is its killer electrical system. So the whole thing is kind of starts up here in this front box. Black Bean is gonna come standard with two of these Lion Energy lithium batteries. So that is 210 amp hours worth of power. You have the option to upgrade to the four battery system, which gives you 420 amp hours of power, which is a huge capacity. We have a built-in 1500 watt inverter. The switch for that is inside, which we'll look at here in a minute. Uh, up in the top corner, or up in the back there, is the Red Arc Manager 30. That's the, the whole, the brain of the operation. So that's what's gonna distribute the power, uh, control the charging, control the discharge, all that fun stuff. Uh, we also even added a thermally regulated fan in the door here. So if it's getting too hot in here, once it hits that temperature, this fan will kick on, regulate the temperature inside here so you're not cooking all those nice, valuable electronics. Um, so that's the basic up here. Let's move to the inside and take a look at the Red Arc controls. All right, so paired with that nice Red Arc Manager 30, we have the Red Vision control panel up here. So a cool thing about this, it's gonna give you a bunch of information about ingoing and outgoing power, how much time you have left, what your battery percentage is and everything like that. So right now, saying we have 99% battery, it's slowly discharging because we're using the lights in here. So you have the red arrow going down, you'll see your green arrow going up if it's charging the batteries. It's estimating we have about 16 days worth of power left. Uh, and that's with, I think we have the fridge running uh, and the lights on inside. So full four battery system, as long if you're not using the inverter and using the fan at really high speeds, gives you a ton of time. Uh, gives you a lot of options. You can scroll through, look at all kinds of different things, discharge, charging. So it'll show you how much you have coming from your vehicle, how much you coming, is coming from solar, how much is coming from your wall plug. So. Right now we have one amp hour, basically, or one amp drain on the battery. Um, your inverter switch is just here with the push button on and off. Uh, one thing important with that, you can see that's already dropping our power. You only wanna use the inverter when you're actually using your wall plugs. So the inverter by nature will just have a parasitic draw, even if it's on and you don't have anything plugged in. So you only wanna have this on when you're using that inverter. Other things we have back here, we have a 12 volt cigarette port, we have a dual USB up top, and then this is gonna be your fuse panel as well as DC main and AC main for the trailer. So you can actually shut off those breakers if you need to. Uh, and then just like our other trailers, we have our 110 GFCI wired in here on the, on the inside wired in series with what's on in your galley so if you ever have issues with those see if this one got popped and maybe just needs reset